Hello, Anna Napoli for the Finance News Network, and joining me from Imitep is CEO Mark Fucht. Mark, welcome back. Nice to meet you, Anna. First up, as the financial year comes to a close, could you remind us about the work that has taken place over the last 12 months? Yes, sure. So Immutep uh, as a biotech company was fully focused uh, on our core areas of expertise, which is on the one hand side immuno-oncology and then autoimmune diseases. All our product candidates made good progress um, and we saw a lot of data in the past uh, 12 months and we hope, of course, for more in the future. And a more general question, Mark. Immunotherapy is the hot area of biotech for good reason. What advantages does it provide and why is Big Pharma so interested? Indeed, you are right. It's a very, very hot uh, area in biotech and in the pharmaceutical industry. And it's, uh, I think, a paradigm shift we saw a few years ago um, in the way you treat cancer patients with immuno-oncology. So where you enable the patient's own immune system to actively fight cancer. And on the other hand side, um, the immune system is also responsible uh, for a number of other diseases like autoimmune diseases where you have an overreacting immune system. So I think it's a quite strong logic uh, why it makes sense uh, to engage in that field. And it's not only a logic, not only a scientific rationale, but there's also great market potential. The key drugs there are multi-billion dollar blockbuster drugs like Keytruda, for instance. Thanks, Mark. Unless you're involved in biotech, the size of the opportunity isn't always easy to understand. If we could turn to your largest trial for metastatic breast cancer, how's it progressing and what's the science revealing? Yeah, first of all, uh, the trial, which is called APEC, um, has been fully recruited um, in June last year, so about a year ago. And then we reported first results in terms of progression-free survival by end of March uh, this year. Unfortunately, uh, it was not so well received by the market and it was not up to our hopes that we can shortcut um, the development and go directly to registration. But uh, it was also quite encouraging. We saw nice uh, subgroups, so patients benefited uh, from the treatment with FT-Lagimod in terms of the so-called progression-free survival. We saw also an advantage in terms of the response rate. But the main game is overall survival, and these results um, are due by approximately end of this year. So um, the market reaction in the midst of the, the COVID uncertainty wasn't that nice, um, just to, to, to be very frank here, but uh, the game is uh, on and we are working on it and we will generate further results. Um, yeah, and in metastatic breast cancer, which is a not very immunogenic disease, it's maybe also noteworthy that also the blockbuster drug Ketruda I mentioned had also some hiccups, so failures. And can you also provide a comment on your other clinical trial in non-small cell lung cancer? Yes, that's a trial with the same drug candidate, FT Lagimod, uh, which we do together with Merck uh, in the US. Um, so combination of Keytruda plus FT Lagimod, indeed, as you said, a non-small cell lung cancer as well as a head and neck cancer. Fabulous results um, we saw at AACR, so end of April. And uh, now again at ESCO, where we doubled the response rate of Ketruda in first line on small cell lung cancer and second line head and neck cancer. Of course, we will generate further results, but as an interim step, this was very, very encouraging. So what is the potential payoff versus risk for shareholders when investing in Immutep? First of all, um, I believe as a, as a general rule in biotech, not only specific to, to Immudep, it's important to have a portfolio of diff different drug candidates. I mean, we talk here about science, about experiments. These experiments, of course, can also go wrong or not deliver the expected results. So to have a portfolio of multiple drug candidates is important. Also to have then multiple clinical trials, so multiple shots on goal. Um, and also to team up with the big pharmaceutical industry. So, for instance, Immutep has partnerships with GlaxoSmithKline, with Novartis, Merck, I mentioned already, also Pfizer and German Merck and other smaller companies. So I believe uh, these are the right ingredients to achieve something very big. And Mark, COVID-19 is the question on everyone's minds at the moment. How did the company go during the lockdowns and how is it placed going forward? 
Yeah, thank you. Uh, indeed, an important question. Uh, COVID is affecting all businesses, including biotech and the pharmaceutical industry. Um, so as a company, operationally, we have not been affected that much. Um, so I have been uh, continuously in the office, for instance. And also, as we have uh, um, a global presence, we are used to work at uh, different hours also from home. So that was okay. The clinical trials um, have been um, affected a bit. Um, so, of course, patient recruitment is slower. The patients are more cautious. They need to be protected. And, and this is, of course, number one. Uh, and, and most important. And then also uh, the readouts could be delayed. Uh, for Immutep, maybe not that dramatic as we have our biggest trial, APEC, fully recruited. TACD002, the trial with Merck, more than 70% recruited. And the trial with Pfizer, also 100% recruited. So that impact um, might be limited. Um, but overall, I believe the economy and also the biotech industry will see some, some consequences here. Last question, Mark, is there anything else you'd like to tell investors? Yeah, so I believe um, we had some exciting past 12 months. Um, we will have uh, even more exciting coming 12 months. We are working on a lot of different initiatives and things. We are working on our clinical trials. Our collaborators are moving forward. For instance, the clinical proof of concept uh, for the drug we out license to GlaxoSmithKline is expected in first half um, next year, calendar year, so first half of 21. And also in terms of LEG3 as such, we are the leaders in terms of LEG3, the immune checkpoint. Um, there is bristol myers Squibb, um, and if they validate LEG3, they have a phase 3, which may read out end of this or beginning of next year. This would, of course, be big for us as well, as we are the global leaders in LEG3. Mark Fucht, thanks for the update. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure.